this amp that I've been playing since 1987 is Davies. We had started getting together and making up songs. And then we thought we'd have to go and play a few gigs. So Davy didn't have an amp at the time. And a friend of ours who had been in a band called De Nemos, called John Brennan, and the drummer in that band was Red McGrath, who later played drums with Saul after a slow while. John had this amp left over, the band hadn't been playing any longer, and we found out about it. And we went up and met John in Matty Francis Barber's, because John lived in the same building as Matty Francis. And Matty Francis was our town barber, we'd all been getting our hair cut up there for years as kids. And it was funny to, John Brennan brought the amp into the barber shop after hours, like eight o'clock in the evening on a summer's evening. And that's where we first heard the Yamaha, we brought a guitar with us, plugged it in, and it sounded good. Davy said it sounded good. And Davy has a great ear for instruments and equipment. He kind of knows pretty much immediately if there's potential in it. So it sounded good and we brought it home. Just like that. Davy brought it home and then the next night I went up to Davy. He said, did you notice there's tremolo on the amp? We never had an amp with tremolo before. So I said, so there we were immediately in Roy Orbison territory and inspired to go down that direction and that's where those riffs would have came from very shortly afterwards. <laughs> Kigo fixed it once, he cable tied in the transformer. <laughs> but um, it's it's done every gig that the Sawdusters ever did from 1987 in Ireland, Britain, in Europe, and sometimes beyond. Uh, I do own the same one, the same model in America, so when we go to America, I play that one. But this amp has been through thick and thin. It originally fell down from the top of the truck on the Waterboys tour back in 1989 and we thought it would have been banjaxed at that stage but we plugged it in the following evening and it was working and it worked for another probably 10 or 15 years after that until it needed a service and when it got that service it's been working ever since it's it's the amp of the saw doctors now i put it through my vox ac30 and the jennings that i got the loan of from tom joyce it goes through them as well just to fatten up the sound and make it a bit louder because on a big stage it's it's not that big an amp and it's a transistor as well so it doesn't have the same kind of valve warmth as the valve master but it's an absolutely fabulous piece of gear it's not treasured they're on ebay you will see them for sale they're not expensive they're not rare but they're, they're not plentiful either because they're not they're not a treasured piece of gear they were never renowned for being brilliant but it's the song after sound and we've been very lucky that this combination has existed and inspired us from 1987. <laughs> 